Eight-year-old girl was transported to Toledo Hospital after a vicious dog attacked her, her sister, and her mother in Bairdstown in Wood County. Yeah, it's a story we told you first about last night, and today the mother spoke to our Sharia Davis to talk about what happened. She's live now to tell us why the mom says this whole thing could have been prevented. All three were taken to Wood County Hos Hospital last night, but the eight-year-old was transported to Toledo Hospital for surgery on her left thigh where the dog bit her. She's doing, she's doing a lot better. She's doing, she's doing good. I mean, under the circumstances, it could have been a whole lot worse. Stephanie Rock is glad both her daughters are doing okay. She said yesterday morning she found a stray pit bull mix on her property. Her kids were at school at the time, but when they came home, she told her daughters to get inside because she didn't know if the dog was dangerous. But the eight-year-old went outside to feed some other pets, and that's when the dog came from the backyard and attacked her. Her older sister saw the dog and tried to help, but the dog attacked her, too. By the time Stephanie ran out to help, the dog wrestled and bit her before her husband shot and killed it. Stephanie says she called the dog warden while her kids were in school, but all she got was an answering machine. She then called the sheriff's office and spoke with the dispatcher. She was going to transfer me out there, and I explained to her, I've already called out there, there's nobody there. I need this dog off my property before my children get home. And um, so, Neil say they didn't show up before my children got home. Now Stephanie received stitches on her ankle. Her 12-year-old daughter only received scratches, but as you heard, the 8-year-old is doing fine. Now Stephanie isn't sure who the dog belonged to, but the Wood County Sheriff's Office is investigating the matter. I also called the dog warden and left a message to get their side of the story, but no one returned my call. Reporting live, Sharia Davis, Fox Toledo News, first at 4.